welcome to my channel my name is kenna and i'm your favorite cameronia youtuber based in duala cameroon hmm? how is everybody doing how's everything going hope you're doing good and fine and you are perfectly happy yeah 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 guys i'm in a good mood because see guys before i got together to shoot this video it has been a living hell lights have gone off come on this has happened my mom making noise like see guys oh sometimes to put content together is a whole struggle but thank god thank god i am done i am almost done like this is the second video i'm shooting and i am pretty pretty excited so today my dear people i am going to be talking about my unpopular opinions when it comes to friendships i'll be telling you 10 of my unpopular opinions when it comes to friendship like i always say it's my unpopular opinion you do not have to agree with me you do not have to think like me we can all agree to disagree or we can disagree with sense if you come and you want to come and insult me i will give you fire for fire okay so without talking too much let's go straight into the video okay so my very first unpopular opinion when it comes to friendships is that i'm one of those people who does not believe that you need one bestie like you need one best friend my best friend in the world my only best friend like i i don't believe that i'm sorry i don't first of all believe in the concept of bestie i don't think i've ever had a best friend in my life should i really say that no i have had a best friend who have grown apart but i have had a best friend she's still my very good friend but since we are far apart it's not the same but anyway what i'm just trying to say is you don't need one bestie growing up i have discovered that i have besties in different parts of my life basically i have besties in different parts of my life like i have a bestie a bestie a mom bestie like we can talk about mom life we can talk about this i have a youtube bestie do you know who my youtube bestie is do you people know who my youtube bestie is let me know in the comment section come and answer who is my youtube bestie i have my youtube bestie i have like i have besties in different parts of my life and i'm cool with it and yeah when i know it's youtube related i can go to this my bestie when is this related it doesn't mean that we don't share things about we don't share um things about other parts of my life like for my youtube bestie no we share things about different things in life but it's my youtube bestie because that's where we met and that's where we're enjoying our life okay <laughs> so that's the, the very one is about having friends for long so people believe like having a friend for so long means that it's your best friend please that's rubbish some of us have been keeping highly toxic people for 20 10 50 100 years and we feel like oh because i've known this person and because this person has been my friend for so so long it means that that's a very good friend not necessarily you could still have had a friend for 10 years who has been hurting you betraying you and you're just tolerant rating them you keep leaving them to hurt you and hurt you you cannot let go and inside your head because i've known them for many years that makes the person a good friend no you could still have met somebody five months i have people who have met in a short amount of time but how they have touched my life surpasses the way some people that i've known almost all my life have ever touched my life you get so i don't believe in longevity means it's the best friend oh this person some people will consider their best friend this person is my best friend because i knew them since when i was in form one until today we're still friends i have friends that i knew yeah when i was 11 till today i was still friends who have been friends for over 20 something years but will i call them my best friends or will i call them the best friendship I've, friendships i've ever had no because for me friendship is not all about how long sometimes you can know somebody for even one month and the way that person is there for you is more than anybody has ever been there for you so that is my second unpopular, unpopular opinion. opinion is please you do not have to call your friends every day you do not have to talk with your friend all the time to show that you are close or your besties or your everything no i always say this about my friends from my own experience even if i don't talk to my friends every day even if i don't check on them every day each time we get to meet and sit or talk or we talk either on the phone or we meet physically it's like it's like we never there was no space there was no time you get we just catch up just have a good time just talk and all that so for me i'm not one of those people who believes i feel like it's mostly young the younger people who be believing that every day oh i have to call my friend oh today your yeah, friend does not check on you today oh my god you're not checking on me today you don't have to like 
yeah sometimes when i when i stay one two three days i don't hear from karen all right so you cannot but for me it's not like i'm not really really mad i'll be like so you cannot check on me so if i don't call you don't call me it's not like i'm really really mad but it's just it's just me joking but honestly i understand that we are all grown-ups she has her life i have my life everybody has their life things are going on everybody has so many things that they have to do things that you have to so i will not sit and be angry that hey this person did not call me today this person i said is it my husband if my husband does not call me i'll be angry or if it like you get but if any other person i'm like no i understand that life happens things happen so i'll not sit and be like oh my god this person did not call me this person my best friend did not call me best he did not check on me today my bestie is a bad bestie i beg you one and is breaking up with a friend can be as painful as break up breaking up with a friend eh? see especially if it's that friend that's really close to you i've broken up with one friend of mine and till today i'm still dealing with, dealing with the breakup because i miss her i miss her a lot of times i'm like oh my god i really miss this person i start feeling tempted to call her see it it is hard especially when you and that friend shared something really special it is hard for me that's what i think oh i think that breaking up with a a true friend a real friend can be as painful or even more painful than a breakup because inside my head with a with a normal breakup with a boyfriend or something inside my head i'm like ah but I'll replace you. I'll still find somebody that I'll love. But when it comes to my friend, I'm like, I was with the friend because of these things. And I don't know. Like, for me, it's just different. I'm like, this, I'm not going to see this same person. This exact, like, I want this exact person. Minus that small bad fashion. <laughs> you get, I'll not have this same person. I might have somebody better. I might have somebody, but it's not going to be. I want the same person. This same person minus the bad fashion you get. So that is what I think. I feel like breaking up with your friend can be even more painful than break up with a boyfriend or if you don't have no friends it means you're miserable i beg i'm not one of those people who feels that if you don't have a friend it means you're miserable no you are not miserable if you don't have friends i Mara, don't do that you are not miserable if you don't have friends okay you are not miserable if you don't have i okay let me not talk for people i will not be miserable if i don't have friends it's true there'll be times that i always miss oh my god i wish i had friends but i have sisters those sisters will act as my friends okay so i don't feel like people who don't have friends who are not family for example are miserable no i've gone for years 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 without really having friends like that when i say without having friends my friends were there but since we we're far apart i wasn't really checking up there they were really really checking on me and all that you get and i did not die i was not miserable i was fine i was happy okay but it's just that where you go and go and you get to a point and you're like no i need my friends i like i want to be talk i want to talk to my friends i don't want to talk to family i don't want to talk to my husband i just want a friend so i'm one of those people who feels that not having a friend does not make you miserable not at all you can still be alone and happy okay the next one is my friend's friend is not my friend i am one of those people who believes that my friend's friend is not my friend <laughs> my friends know me very well for this one i'm always i'm always very blunt about it i don't pretend the fact that mary and rachel always come to my house mary is my friend and uh, rachel is mary's friend it doesn't mean that i am we are automatically all friends please she's my acquaintance okay i could still have my private thing that i want to say i call mary at the side and i tell her and i don't tell rachel you get so that is just it and that is how i see it not all my friends friends are my friends yes we are cordial we don't have any problem you are my acquaintance but there are certain things that please i will not be sharing with you don't feel that because oh you might be always coming to my house with this friend of mine or are always going out with this friend of mine or always gisting we have fun it means that you're my friend no 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 you are not my friend you could especially if i don't like you please my friend likes you i don't like you it's okay eh? i don't like you not that you did anything back to me or anything like i don't like i don't i'm not just functioning with you like i'm not just feeling you like that it's okay we must not all be friends 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 okay so the next, next thing i'm going to talk about is jealousy some people are always like oh a good friend will never feel jealous friends are not good friends are not jealous of each other hmm. i'm one of those people who don't think like that i feel like 
it's sometimes it's normal to feel jealous what matters at the end of the day is how you control your jealousy there are certain times that okay you have a friend that you people are doing the same thing and then you see now this friend actually growing and things are going good for them it's very natural for one little part of you to feel like where well, oh my god look at this happening to my friend why is it not happening to me like for me i feel like it's normal i uh, maybe some people be like it's not normal but for me i feel like it's normal what matters now is how you handle it when you feel that way do you not just brush it off and you're like sat and get the side behind me i'm going to be happy for my friend i'll clap for my friend so that something good too can happen to me that's how i think so i feel like it's very normal for a friend to get jealous of you once in a while but what matters more is how the person handles handles the jealousy because some people we know they get when they get jealous here it becomes something else but i'm one of those people who believes that jealousy it's normal to get je to get jealous of your friend mm. once in a blue moon but it's okay as long as you don't do something bad or you don't it doesn't it doesn't get in your head basically because we are friends doesn't mean that we have to go everywhere because we are best friends doesn't mean that you and i don't came on here everywhere i want to go you must go like no like no we have to understand that for me it does not mean see like i said i have friends in different domains oh. i could just be here and i want to go somewhere and i'm like okay which of my friends is most suitable oh. to go with me to this place and i'm like okay mary oh yeah come and let's go and you that i'm always with you maybe i'm always with prisca i don't want to go with prisca it does not mean in any way that because we're friends because we're very close it means that everywhere that i'm going you have to follow me it's okay the same as it's not everywhere that you're going that i have to follow you there are certain places that you might want to go to that you feel like oh i don't want to take kenna here this is not kenna's call i'll prefer to take this other person it is okay but we have some friends eh? if you just dare do that like Oh, you carry you want to go somewhere you don't go with them or you carry another friend and go and they probably see your social media or they see all your status or they just hear or maybe you bump into them ha problem so you 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 say we are friends but when you're going to do your things you don't take me hey you went here you did not take me you went there you did not take me and you say that we're friends please you are friends does not mean that you the two have become one please you're just friends it's okay if your friend has a life out of your friendship it doesn't mean that because you're friends i feel like some of these things are just pretty childish it's only when i was young that i used to feel hurt if my friend wants to go somewhere she goes and she doesn't take me i'll feel hurt but growing up i've noticed that please the fact that she's my friend does not mean that she doesn't have a life out of my own life like out of what we share she has the right to explore with different people the same as i have the right to explore with different people so that's another thing i I feel a lot of people feel like no your friend it means you have to always involve them in your everything if you're going here it's always good that since they are your you are friends you have to go with her bed no uh -uh. i'll go sometimes i don't I, I i don't want friend energy i prefer sister energy i take my sister and go somewhere sometimes i don't want like i can go anywhere with anybody the fact that we are friends does not mean that oh my god we are tied to each other oh the next one is interesting you know what they say my friend's enemy is my friend's enemy please i'm not buying anybody's enemy i am not part of people's business like see i found myself in this so much in the past year like and i'm just like please oh please oh how does this even happen i do not the fact that you are enemies with this person and i am your friend it does not mean that both of us we, we I, i'm not one of those people who come and join enemy for people who i don't inherit enemies i beg i don't have my own enemy i don't want to go and inherit other people's enemies i am not one of those people who believes that because i'm not fine with this person it means that my friend should not be fine with the person it's okay as long as i understand like you have be being friends to people you have to be really mature you have to understand that that person has their own relationship with this person you get see guys I, I found myself in a situation where i was explaining myself and explaining myself because i found myself in a situation where this same uh, marry my your uh, friends my enemy kind of thing and i'm like you have your own relationship with that person and i have my own relationship with this person okay the fact that you and that person you are no longer friends it does not mean that i am automatically supposed to stop being friends with this person you get you people have your own relationship i will have a problem if only you people's friendship is based on me because some people get angry because your friendship becomes based on you you go and sit and go to kenna conference you feel believe second i do so but if i understand that okay you people have a friendship out of me then it's okay you push to discuss as long as my name doesn't come out in people's discussions it's good and fine you get to have one of those people who doesn't believe that oh because if this person's enemy mary's enemy mary is my best friend so if mary has an enemy that enemy because like mm -mm. 
mm -mm. We have, I have my separate relationship with that person, but it also depends as well. If that person did something really bad, and I see that it speaks to the person's character, sometimes my friend, <laughs> and I see that it speaks to the person's character, then I can understand. But for you to just expect that because you and this person have a problem, it doesn't concern me. For me, the, the problem doesn't even make sense. I'm going to inherit your problem. Yeah, 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 mad. Yeah, you're on your own. And last but not least, stealing of friends. <laughs> girls will fight because of this they will quarrel because of this for me it always gets me laughing it always gets me laughing because i'm just like seriously like <laughs> it's funny guys people should leave me to laugh it's funny girls will get really mad girls will be in so much problems let me paint a scenario i uh let me use youtubers names okay i and mercy Dari are friends and then i i and elvin are friends okay so i'm the link between mercy Dari and elvin elvin jig so i'm friends with these two girls and then i now carry mercy Dari to elvin's house and i'm like hey elvin meet mercy Dari. mercy Dari is my friend uh -huh -huh. we discuss oh we have fun elvin and mercy now click okay as they click they now start being friends they become even closer like mercy becomes even closer to elvin than i am to elvin she they're always discussing they're always around each other they start making their plans they are traveling without me they are going for their programs without me enjoying life without me and i get angry like for me i don't believe in anything as silly friends like i said like okay it's not in this video in the other video i just shot in life god uses people god would have probably just used you to become that person's best friend i have girls that will go mad they will speak for months because oh i introduced you to this my friend you went behind my back i became friends like see mm -mm, for me i don't care you decide that you want to become really close and you decide that you want to be sharing everything and and you don't want me like i'm the one who is spoiling post friendship you want to become close to each other and do everything with each other you can drink and juice and you want to do everything with each other i really don't care like for me what 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 is the importance? Don't cry, it's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. To me, I really don't care. Like, it's okay. I'm I'm happy. I brought two people together. Again, the only part that will get angry is if you post friendship is based on my name. Eh, can I you know if you believe say can I be telling me say this or can I mm -mm, that's when I have a problem. But if you people have generally found friendship after I introduced you guys, go ahead. Why are you having a problem that oh because I'm the one I, I've seen girls who be saying things like I'm the one that introduced you to, to Mary. I'm the one that introduced you today. You probably gonna enjoy friendship. You have to make friends with you with your how this other thing. You want to make friends with me more than my friend or something like that. I'm like, please eh. I'm too old for to be bothering whose friend is who, who is whose friend. Like, please, if you if that's what makes you happy, my dear sister, knock yourself out. Be friends and enjoy your friendship. Anyway, guys, what do you think about this video? Do you like it? Do you enjoy? Also, if I notice from the pool I made that people actually enjoy my rants and my unpopular opinions if you have any topics that you would like me to rant on or give you my unpopular opinions on just let me know under this video give me video suggestions i am tired of begging you people and asking you people to give me video suggestions because you guys are never giving before when i ask people used to give hey eh? but these days when i ask you everybody's just like Tch. go and look for content and come and give us we are not helping you, no nothing. So please, say eh, you push be kind to me, please. What do I do? <laughs> what did I do to you guys? Please be kind to me. Give me rants and on or popular opinion topics that you might want me to do. Thank you guys very much. Please don't forget to comment. Don't forget to tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Are you like me or I'm weird and strange? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys very much for watching today's video. And I am going to see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. Not tomorrow. Later. Bye.